Hi everyone, thanks for listening to all my presentations. Today I'll be talking about a topic that is not pretty known to the general populace, but well known to medical personnel. That is, if someone has indulged in a particular habit and he or she has ingested cocaine and he or she comes down with chest pain, we don't give bitter blockers. And why that? Let's go. Cocaine and acute coronary syndrome is a scenario that is going to be treated differently from the rest type of heart attack. In cocaine induced heart attack or chest pain, we should not use beta selective blockers. My list here will give you beta 1 selective as my two prolor and so on, and beta 1, beta 2 selective as propranolol. Cavetilol will block 1, 2, beta, and alpha 1, while labetilol will block all. Even labetilol that will block all betas and alpha, we don't use it in acute phase of cocaine-induced chest pain. So, why? Why is it that beta blockers will be forbidden in acute phase of cocaine-induced chest pain? Cocaine affects both the beta and alpha adrenergic receptors. The cocaine user would then become hypertensive with possible chest pain from myocardial ischemia or myocardial infarction. There will be a very high heart rate and that will be associated with coronary artery spasm. Some will actually come down with seizures and some could form thrombus, particularly in those that have been smoking for a while before ingesting the cocaine. Now, what is the effect of the beta blockers here? Why we are going against it? If you give beta blockers, you are going to block the beta adrenergic receptors for sure, okay? But how about the alpha adrenergic receptors? They will go unopposed. What will be the consequences of alpha adrenergic receptors going unopposed? There will be decrease in myocardial blood flow and there will be increased coronary vessel constriction, which will be you know, defined as coronary spasm, okay? Then that will lower the coronary blood flow that will eventually worsen the myocardial ischemia. So increased alpha is not a good thing because that will you know, keep the blood pressure high up there, and that can even lead to seizures and increased mortality. So if I said don't do this, then what should you do? Then give vasodiazepines. If the patient is having, you know, acute coronary syndrome or severe chest pain, very high blood pressure, very high heart rate, and is secondary to cocaine ingestion, give vasodiazepine. Use calcium channel blockers, particularly non-diadropridine calcium channel blockers, and you can conveniently use verapamine here. 2.5 milligram intravenously over three minutes please you can repeat that in 15 to 30 minutes as needed but please contact your cardiologist and since this is related to cocaine ingestion have toxicological center involved other appropriate interventions when it comes to you know heart attack should be in place like morphine oxygen nitroglycerin aspirin Simvastatin, as the case may be, AC in beta, ventolamine. Just check my channel for heart attacks one to six already published. You will see even how to prevent heart attack. You now, the modifiable risk factors, diagnosis, and treatment all published. Okay. Later on, when you are out of the wood, when you are out of the acute phase, you can give beta blocker. You may choose to give the beta blocker when the patient is going home, that is, after being discharged from the hospital, okay? It is contraindicated in the acute phase, but not so much, again, when the phase of cocaine must have went down, and other measures must be in place. All other medications, like AC inhibitors, can be given, depending on your findings, okay? Monitoring. Of course, we know what to do, right, when we are faced with heart attack. So if you check my channel for 
Now the published presentations on Art Tax 1 to 6, the answers are there. So the EKG, cardiac enzyme, vital signs, liver function, renal function, eco toxicology report. Toxicological report is necessary here because we are dealing with cocaine. Because someone ingesting cocaine might take some other medications, I mean, some other street drugs like fentanyl, you know, amphetamine, and so on. And please send consult to cardiologists you know, around you. Do all other necessary things because we are dealing with human beings and holistic approach is the key. Thanks for listening to this very presentation. No beta blockers in acute coronary syndrome secondary to cocaine ingestion. Remember to give a thumbs up. Remember to pass your comment. Remember to share. And remember to subscribe to my channel so that when I publish these presentations, you can have a copy immediately. I appreciate it.